Hi, 8th graders. As promised, I worked on our um, tectonics standards and kind of where we've been and where we're going with them. I know that on, um, on our Google Classroom, I have the standards listed um, for tectonics, but there's not a lot of describing as far as how we're going to get there. And so I took each of those standards and made another document here. Um, and those three standards for um, for tectonics are listed here, okay, separated by this little line. So here's one of the standards, here's another one of the standards, and here's the third standard, okay? On here, I also, in blue, kind of gave you a better description of what you would need to do for deeper learning. Okay, so for instance, this first standard here, this is all the same standard. To meet the standard, I can describe how destructive and constructive geological events shape Earth's landscape. That's the standard, okay? Well, in order to meet that, I got a little bit more specific about how you would meet that. Identify areas around the world where new land is being created from old rock and where landscapes are being destroyed due to seismic activity, okay? To get deeper learning for that, I can analyze rock strata and make inferences about what forces created specific landscapes. Okay, so what you'll see down here is you have to do what you need to do to meet, but in addition to that, research a specific area with a unique landscape and discuss how tectonic movement created it. Okay? And I have that for each of the learning targets. Okay, so here's meets for the next one. I can demonstrate the movement of tectonic plates and how those movements cause specific geologic events. Okay, so what I want you to do there is describe each type of boundary, including what could happen there. In order to get deeper learning, you have to do what you need to do to meet, and then also research a specific subduction zone. Okay, because deeper learning says I can describe how tectonic movement among plates of different densities create specific geologic events. Okay, so what I would want you to do for deeper learning is find a specific subduction zone, describe what happen happens there, citing the densities of the plates involved and the resulting landscape. All right, and then this last one, um, I can diagram and label the layers of the earth. Okay, so you would include a drawn diagram including these things to get deeper learning. I can describe how energy is transferred within the earth and that leads to tectonic movement. Okay, so you would have a diagram listing these things and then also show the convection currents that are within the mantle. All right. So if we look at Empower, um, you will see, and I'm going to click over here. Um, I've got your names erased here. This is in random order, but you will see like, for instance, here are our three tectonics um, standards right here. Some of you have already met two of them. Okay. And how did you do that without doing these specific things right here? Well, if I look at the classwork, um, there are a lot of things I take into account. Okay. So some of the assignments that we've done, like the doodle notes, that was one that you could um, show me that you know the layers of the earth. Okay, that definitely attacked that one. I take into account your um, scores and performance on little quizzes, um, on the questions that I have posted with certain little videos. All of those things kind of come into effect. And so some of you have already met a couple of those. Um, this one right here, I can describe how destructive and constructive geologic events shape Earth's landscape. That's one that we haven't really, um, right here, that's one that we haven't really tested out of or I haven't given you something to actually um, show me what you know there. Okay, so all of you have a beginning on this one and there will be an assignment coming this week in order to meet that one. All right, again, if your objective is to get deeper learning, then you would go to this document and you would look at specifically what do I need to do to get deeper learning. All right, so let's say you've met this standard right here. I can demonstrate the movement of tectonic plates and how these movements cause specific geologic events. Well, this student right here already met that just by doing the practice stuff that we have. 
Okay, if this person wants to get deeper learning for this, then they would look at the standard and look at the deeper learning portion of that and show me in whatever way that you want. There's not going to be a specific um, assignment just for deeper learning. Okay, you'll eat through my assignments that I have on the Google Classroom, you can get meets. All right. If you want to go above and beyond that for deeper learning, then you're going to have to dig in deeper, okay? And a lot of that has to do with research, okay? So how would you communicate that with me? Well, you could write a summary of what you've learned. You could do a slideshow of what you learned. You could do a video of what you learned, okay? But remember that this is deeper learning. You know, don't just... If, if you're answering a question that I could type into Google and get an answer for, that's not really deeper learning, right? That's just knowing how to Google, all right? You have to dig in deeper and tell me what you know. Find something that is of interest to you. Find a specific area with a unique landscape that is of interest to you and study how did tectonic movement create it, okay? And communicate that with me. All right, if you do not have a meets on any of the tectonic standards what that would show you on the standards is that on empower i mean is that you likely have not completed any of this practice stuff okay or you did and you did it in such a way that it did not show me any evidence of learning all right so you can either go back and try to resubmit some of those or Maybe you submitted those back then and it didn't show me evidence and you want to let me know now that you do know these things. Well, then go here. Okay. And you can do something above and beyond, you know. Make me a short little slideshow that shows this part to get meets. Make me a little sh slideshow that shows this part. Or go back and do the practice activities that were assigned to begin with. Okay. Um, we, I'm just posting this here just to give you kind of, um, a little heads up on this. I would like for you to look at this. I would like for you to watch this video and take a look at the document and then bring questions with you to Zoom. All right. And I will be referring to these standards much more often as far as, okay, what are we specifically looking at right now? What should you be thinking about when we go through this lesson? What should you be thinking about when you listen to this lecture? Okay, and then, you know, do this activity and this will show me this specific standard. Does that make sense? <laughs> I hope it does. Um, again, we will talk more about this, okay? I just wanted to get this out there so that you had time to look at it and digest it prior to coming to class on Monday. I hope you all. Well. Bye.